Today I will be showing you two Easter Kids tablescapes. The first will be the dinner table. The second will be an after dinner activity table for the kids. Now let's build this table. Now, I know I have some new family members, so I wanna explain. Usually you'll see me already having placed the tablecloths down when I start my tablescape because I'm dealing with a, working with a glass table. So I already have my two 90 inch squares down and folded and pleat, pleated down the front, you'll see across to the middle to give it a pleated effect. Now, one other thing that you'll usually see me do is sometimes for a centerpiece, I will use boxes, sometimes I'll use books. Today, I'm using a casserole dish. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna turn my casserole dish upside down. I'm going to take my yellow 54 inch square and place that over top. And family, as I build this tablescape, what I'm doing is pulling out the colors that is in my uh, seersucker fabric, and the colors are blue and green. Now, because it's a kid's table, what I did was made the centerpiece an edible centerpiece. I put some yellow grass down at the bottom, layered that with some Easter color M&Ms, some more yellow grass, more M&Ms, and actually this is an artificial boxwood. The kids could take this off, Play with it, place it down here, and place it back on the top, and it's kid-friendly. Next, I'm going to follow that up with my bunnies. Now, my two bunnies, I'm going to rest on the ends of my casserole dish. And they are also kid-friendly. As you can see, they were made out of whisk brooms. And I love the colors because it's the same colors that I'm drawing out of from my kids' tablescape, okay? And then I'm gonna follow that up with some eggs and I'm just going to randomly place these eggs for color Build 
this table. Now, I have a plastic blue dinner plate. And I'm going to follow that up with a six inch salad plate. If you don't want to use this as a salad plate, you can also use it as a dessert plate for the kids. Okay. Now the napkins, I'm just going to place right beside the dinner, pl dinner plate. And all I did with the napkin was folded it in half, folded it again, and just like that. Just a basic fold. I'm going to follow that up with some kids plastic but sturdy fork, knife, and spoon. I love that they came in all different colors. Okay, family, I have some light, a light blue plastic cup with some decorative stones in that. That decorative stones are going to take the place of ice. And then I placed plastic straws of different colors in my cups. Okay, family, I personalized the place cards just as an added touch. I think any kid would like to see their name on the place setting. And one last thing that I did, family, just as an added touch, is I saw this somewhere, I think it, if I'm not mistaken, it was in my Martha Stewart uh, magazine. And it's a flower cut out and you paste or glue a cupcake liner in the middle and I'm gonna place some candy in the center. Now, most of you know, I am not 
a DIY person. So if I do a DIY, generally speaking, it's very simple to do. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I think they turned out so cute. And it's all the colors that I'm building the tablescape off of. The blue, the yellow, and the green. And now I am just going to add some M&Ms. Okay, family, there you have it, a kid's Easter table. I love how it turned out. Let me know down in the comments section your thoughts and stay with me. Now I want to show you the after dinner activity table. dinner activity table. Let me explain. I bought a roll of paper, brown paper, and I cut out of the paper six placemats. And I had some scissors that I cut around the edges, as you can see, to make scallop edges. I kept, of course, their drinks and their candies, but I added eggs on both sides so that the kids can color eggs. I also have stickers. I have coloring books. I have hand sanitizer. And I think this kids activity table will keep the kids busy while the adults are doing something else uh, for entertainment. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, be blessed and remember, Christ has risen.